Okay, you may be thinking, we've done our alpha method, how could it be different? Well, this is slightly different because what's missing is they're not telling me alpha is acute. So for the first time, I might have to do some work and alpha, uh, oh, we're in degrees as well, uh, and alpha might not be an acute angle. Okay, um, but we start out the same way. So uh, 2 times cos of x minus 7 times sine of x is going to be, expand out sine of a plus b is sine a cos b uh, plus uh, cos a sine b with x's and alphas instead of uh, uh, a and b. And of course it's times r, so I have an r there and I have an r there. And I go matching, so cos x here matches with cos x here. So r sine alpha is going to equal 2. And uh, looking for sine x here and sine x here. So, oh, ooh, there's a minus. So r cos alpha is going to be negative. It's going to be minus 7. So uh, I'm still choosing a positive r. So I'll do that in a second. But I can see that uh, one of sine and cos is going to be negative. So alpha cannot be an acute angle. Woo. Okay, so... Um, uh, let's do the r first. So r works as normal, okay? I can still Pythagoras the 2 and the minus 7. So r is still the square root of 2 squared plus minus 7 squared. And of course, you'd be perfectly okay missing off the minus sign because we're squaring it anyway. It's just the square root of 2 squared, which is 4. 7 squared is 49, so it's just root 53. That was the easy bit. Now, we can get tan alpha in the normal way. So tan alpha equals, well, I want sine on the top and cos on the bottom. So tan alpha equals uh, 2 over minus 7. And I can get alpha, or I can get an alpha by doing arc tan in the normal way to minus 2 sevenths. However, I haven't got the guarantee, uh, in fact, it's not even true anymore, that alpha is acute. So I have to call this my first alpha and I have to consider a second alpha. Okay, um, so first one doing the uh, arctan of minus two sevenths is, uh, just bear with me, two divided by seven equals, okay, it's a uh, minus 0.2783 um, to four significant figures, that many radians, okay. And the second alpha I get is going to be pi plus my first alpha, plus minus 0.283. So I add pi to that solution. And I get, oh, damn, I should have been working in degrees, shouldn't I? Because it's a question in degrees. Um, what a fool. So go back. I'll, I'll just put this right. Hang on. OK, so I've got these two possible alphas. Now, these are fundamentally different angles. Only one of them is going to work. And in order to decide which one I want, I need to come back to these. Our sine, our sine alpha is 2. Our cos alpha is minus 7. So sine alpha is positive and cos alpha is negative. And I need to think about how sine and cos behave. So there's my sine graph. And here's my cos graph. OK. Well, I better go a little bit into negative values as one of my candidate alphas. This one is a negative acute angle. Well, for negative acute angles, so here, minus 90 would be there, minus 90 would be where that zero is. For a negative acute angle, sine will be negative and cos will be positive. But I want sine of alpha, because r is positive, so sine of alpha has to be positive and cos of alpha has to be negative. So this one here, this one here is no good. OK, so I'm expecting this one to be OK. So this is a positive obtuse angle. So 90 degrees is here. So it's going to be somewhere here. Well, that would have a positive sign. And that one there, 180 degrees is here, 90 degrees is there. A positive obtuse angle would have a negative cos, which is what I want to happen. So this must be my correct alpha. OK, so I've made a bit of a mess here. Maybe I could have put these graphs in scribble space, but I think my method is clear. I've got my first alpha, second alpha. I've got R clearly there. I just need to state my answer. So it was 2 cos x uh, minus 7 sine x that I had to deal with. And I now know that that equals root 53 times sine of x plus alpha. But my alpha is 164.5. 1 degrees to one decimal place. That's what we normally do in degrees. And as soon as I've double underlined it, I will have finished my solution. Hooray.